Hey there, my name is Ali and welcome to the Photoshop tutorial which I call it From Zero to Hero. I've been working with Photoshop for the past few years and I'm teaching it for the past few months. Okay, let's get started. We will start by opening Photoshop like from the beginning, just opening it. This is Photoshop CC 2017. If you have a different version, it won't make any problem unless it's like too old, something before 2014. So when you open Photoshop, okay how we gonna like start it's photoshop we need to start pulling photos so the first thing i'm gonna take any photo for example this one this is the first way you hold click you drag it to photoshop and then you just put it anywhere in photoshop okay now we have it here it's opened up there it's called futuristic city we can actually drag another one the same way but now when we when we wanna place it, we won't place it on top of this, we will place it on top here. So now it opened in a different window. Now if I pull this window, we have this one, it's called Tree of Love, and then we have this one, Futuristic City. If you pull them like by accident, if you wanna bring them back, don't press maximize. This is what's gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna hold it and drag it again to the top until it's blue. Then you leave it and then you add the other one. Now we have two windows. Okay, every Photoshop will open differently. Maybe it will open something like that. Maybe you won't have these things on the sides. But what I recommend everyone to do, I always like to work like this. Make them in a straight line. If this one is pulled out from you, just make sure you hold click and you drag it back. However, you if you have anything here, just stand on this. Pull them out. Do that for, for all of them and pull this one also out. Just I'll pull the action and the history out. Close them and close this one. And even if I closed layers, it's okay. However, if you closed everything by mistake, these are called windows. So you go to the window. Several things you must make sure they are open. If you see down, you have a line here. You need to make sure that the options and the tools are open and the tools pull it to the left side. Another thing is a must is the layers. The short key is F7. So the layers must be opened and just drag it to the right until it's blue and leave it. Okay, this is how we're gonna work. This is how I'm gonna teach you. We will only have our layers fully extended and the tools like that. You can work with like this way, but it's okay. However, this one is the last thing. If it's pulled out, make sure you also place it on top until it's blue and just leave it here. This is the options menu. It must be open. Okay, now we're done with the menus. Let's say how we're gonna like zoom in and zoom out in Photoshop. Photoshop doesn't zoom with the scroll. So you hold the alt or option key and you pull the scroll out and in front. That's how it works. Another way is by holding control and space. You see it transformed to this like uh, magnifier icon. Now you hold click. You either pull back to zoom in or you hold click and pull front or like pull the other direction. It's left and right also. The left will zoom out and the right will zoom in. Same with up and down. Okay. If you're zoomed in and you just want to like get back, you can hold control or command and press zero. This will bring you back to the like, it's called zoom extent. Okay, now another thing I'm going to teach you is pressing control or command and R. This will open something called the ruler. Now you can stand on this ruler and just drag lines. These lines are just imaginary lines for you to measure. Like if this is zero. You can go like, oh, now this is like 30, this is like 50, something like that. To get rid of the line, just pull them to the left, pull this one up, and it's gone. You can press Ctrl R again to bring it and bring it back. You can press right click and change from like centimeters to inches or to pixels or whatever. Okay, let's remove the ruler. Another, th another thing, you can press right click on that gray area. You can make it black, you can make it medium gray, light gray. Or you can just make a, a custom color and just use any color you want. But I highly recommend the dark gray or the medium gray. I work with the dark gray. Okay. 
Now the last thing we're gonna go with is another way. If we close this, he will ask me to save. I don't wanna save it, no. I'll close this one. We didn't do any changes, so he did not ask me to save. Okay, how another way to open a new file. First one we said we just like drag the photo to Photoshop and opened it. Another way is going to file open. And then we will select just any photo and press open. It will open the same way. Okay, let's close this one. Another last way is file new. This new will have, this will like be what you'll find. If you find it different, it's okay. It's the same. The first thing is calling it. Let's say we call this new file. Then it's the width and the height. Let's say we need it to be in centimeters and we need it to be 20 by 20. Or no, let's make it 20 by 30. Now we have orientation. We made the width 20 and the height 30. If we change the orientation, they are going to change. Now the width is 30, the height is 20. Now we have the resolution. The resolution, it's either can be pixel inch or centimeter. We will work with pixel inch. You either use 72. 72 is going to work for everything. And you can go 150 if you have a little bit faster computer. And you want to guarantee in case you resize your objects down, it will still have high resolution. The last thing is the color mode. You can go RGB, which is the normal, or grayscale, or CMYK. I highly recommend RGB or grayscale if you're like gonna make it black and white. Okay, the advanced options and the background color, just leave it as it is white. And this one, the color, like the depth of the bits, just leave it as 8. It won't make much difference. And now we press create. Now we created 30 centimeter by 20 centimeters, a new white page. Now, if we need to add a, a new photo to it, now we will copy it to Photoshop, but this time, instead of placing it up, we will drag it and just place it on the file itself. Now it will be with that box, so you can like resize it around. However, to just like confirm, there is the tick button and the X. If you press X, it will get deleted. We press the confirm. Now it's confirmed. It's added to the custom size we created using the new. Okay, this is the first lesson. The second lesson, we will start understanding the layers and we'll start by the tools. Thank you.